Hello everyone and welcome back to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the drug Physostigmine. This drug is classified as an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. It is given for anticholinergic atropine toxicity. It cannot be given to people with a salicylate or aspirin allergy or to people who have severe asthma or cardiovascular disease. In pregnant women, it has a category of C, which means that you should weigh the risk and reward of giving this medication. This drug binds to our acetylcholine esterase eraser. If you have not seen our short video titled The Neuromuscular Junction, you should do a quick review because if you do, this drug will become so easy to understand. When it binds to acetylcholine esterase, we are inhibiting our eraser. Now, we will have more acetylcholine in our synaptic cleft to bind to our acetylcholine receptors. This is a good thing to do if we have given our patient too much anticholinergic medication like atropine. Because atropine is competing for the same receptor as acetylcholine, physostigmine allows us to increase our odds of winning by increasing the amount of acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft. This drug has an onset of about 5 to 10 minutes and has effects that last for about 30 to 60 minutes. The side effects of this drug may include some wet cholinergic symptoms such as lacrimation or tear production, salivation, bradycardia, hypotension, bronchospasm, sweating, remember sweat is caused by a release of acetylcholine, and hyperperistalsis or fast gut motility. Some commonly tested material about this drug is that it is given for anticholinergic or atropine toxicity. It is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor or an eraser inhibitor and it will give us our cholinergic wet symptoms. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.